<laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, baby. <laughs> when you hit a target, it feels really good. <laughs> But it takes practice, instruction, and the know-how on how to lock, load, aim, and fire to ensure that you hit your target every time. Uh, always downrange of our targets. That's the safest direction, okay? Uh, rule number two is gonna be our trigger finger. When it comes to Facebook ads, one of the key elements that you need to nail down is how to find your ideal prospects through targeting. And in this week's episode of Netting Up, Keys from Keynotes Edition, I'm gonna to reveal to you a very special method that I call the targeting trifecta on how you can use Facebook to find those ideal prospects for your business. Ever wonder how you could find your ideal prospect on Facebook? We all know that Facebook advertising is unparalleled when it comes to actual targeting. And this is super important, especially in a time where mass marketing is less important and micro marketing is the name of the game. So the question then is, how do we start? Where do we find our ideal prospects? Now, of course, there are many options when it comes to targeting, some advanced and some basic, but I found the best way to start is using what I call the targeting trifecta. And in this week's episode of Netting Up Keys and Keynote Edition, I'm gonna take you back to a talk that I did at the GKIC Info Summit where I reveal how to do just that. Very simple takeaway here. I call this the targeting trifecta. Now you should have a general idea of the type of client that you're going after and how you can reach them on Facebook is ask yourselves three questions. I call them the three Fs. Number one, who do they follow? Everybody on Facebook, I see Facebook kind of as this like little tribe with tribal leaders. In fact, if I were to say personal development, who's the first influencer that comes to mind when I say that name? Tony Robbins, all the time, right? So what do you have here? You have a man who has spent millions of dollars building a fan base, four million fans on his, on his Facebook, and if you wanted to, if you were in the personal development space, you could target your ads to only show to Tony Robbins' fans. Isn't that so much easier than trying to guess people who might like what you have? So who do they follow? Secondly, where do they frequent? If you know that they're reading a certain blog every day or a certain online publication or a certain magazine, that tells you a lot about them. If someone is reading Business Insider or if somebody is uh, reading Home and Garden on a regular basis, what does that tell you about that person? And if you're in that space, you can get all over that. They're waiting for you there. And thirdly, what do they fund? Where are they spending money? Because you know if they're spending money in something that's related to what you do, they're most likely going to spend money on what you have to offer here. So think about this right now then. The people that you're going after, you can literally come up with a list of a few people that they follow, a few people that they frequent, a few people that they fund, and tonight you can go on Facebook and say, target these people. And all of a sudden you are light years ahead of your competition. Was that helpful? <laughs> So targeting is as simple as knowing who your prospects follow, where do they frequent, and what do they fund. So most importantly, go and deploy. If you like that, hit the subscribe button, join the ride. I'll talk to you next week. See you soon.
How's that, Nick? Yeah, good times. Good times. Good times. I wanna. I need to get my my license now, <laughs> so me and Ian can do this right every week. Yeah. <laughs> to let out some anger. That's it.